Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following advertisement. Tradesman Depot offers the highest quality brands of hardware, so don't miss out on our blowout discount event. If you think our products are too expensive for you, think again. This Monday only, buy one Solaris Portable Ceramic Utility Heater at $39.99 and get the second at 50% off the retail price. If transportation of larger boxes is an issue, don't worry. We can ship your purchase directly to your home at no additional cost. See you at Tradesman Depot this Monday. Number 71. What type of merchandise is being advertised? Number 72. How can customers receive a discount on Monday? Number 73. According to the speaker, what additional service does the store provide? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Thanks for inviting me here today. Your firm already uses solar panels for alternative energy on new architectural projects, so I think you'll be very interested in our company's latest product, the TED Real-Time Energy Monitor. This device measures the electrical output of solar panels and converts usage to dollar amounts, so it gives users a clear idea of how much money they'll save on energy costs each day. Since you've been hired to design the new Robinson Centre for the Arts next year, this monitoring system will be an attractive feature to your clients. Now let me pass around some information about the technical specifications of this product. Number 74. What is the purpose of the speaker's visit? Number 75. According to the speaker, what are the listeners planning to do next year? Number 76. What will the speaker most likely do next? Question 77 through 79 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Mr. Yearling. This is Janet Loeb from Sonic Boom Beverages. The marketing team listened to the jingle you wrote for our radio advertisement for our new all-natural energy drinks. We really like the song and think it will appeal to our target audience. Our only concern is that our product name is not repeated at the end of the song. Can you please record a new version? Once you've done that, we should be able to use it in our advertisement. Number 77. What product is being discussed? Number 78. What concern does the caller mention? Number 79. What does the speaker request that the listener do? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following talk. On behalf of the legal team here at Spectre, Preston and Weber, I'd like to welcome you to the firm. Now, I know you're all certified legal assistants, but we want to make sure you feel comfortable with your assignments. So, for your first week, you'll be assigned a mentor. These experienced staff members will explain our procedures and answer questions you have about the firm. At the end of the week, your mentor will evaluate your work and let us know if you're ready to handle assignments independently. We're very happy that you're here and we hope you enjoy the work. Number 80. Who is the intended audience of the talk? Number 81. How will listeners be trained? Number 82. 
What does the speaker say will happen at the end of the week? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following announcement. Attention passengers of flight 5J311 with service to Santa Fe. We apologize for the delay while the aircraft is being refueled, but we are now ready to begin boarding. It's going to be a full flight, so I need to remind everyone about our baggage regulations. Each passenger is allowed only one carry-on item of no more than 15 pounds. Any items weighing more than that or additional luggage will have to be checked here at the desk. We'll now begin boarding rows 40 through 55. Please take out your boarding passes for inspection to speed up the process. Number 83. What was the cause of the delay? Number 84. What does the speaker remind listeners of? Number 85. What does the speaker request that listeners do? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. The next thing I'd like to discuss during our meeting today is the result of the survey that library patrons filled out in the past month. One thing we were surprised by was the feedback about the wait time at the information desk. A number of people reported being frustrated because there isn't enough staff, so we'll definitely need to hire more staff. On a positive note, I'm happy to say that our idea for possibly hosting a weekly movie night seemed to appeal to our patrons. If we do go ahead with this idea, they'd like to see a variety of genres including documentaries and international films. Number 86. What has the library done recently? Number 87. What does the speaker say about the library's information desk? Number 88. What does the man mean when he says, on a positive note, Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following broadcast. Good evening. First up on Space Tonight, we have news of an exciting discovery made near the edge of the Milky Way. A team of astronomers have found a black star that's never been observed by experts before. They're trying to find a name for the star, and they're asking the public to submit ideas. Later on in the program, we'll tell you how to enter the contest on our website and have a chance to win a trip to the Aldrin Space Centre in Cocoa Beach. But first, we'll hear from Dr Gabriel Dyson, the lead astronomer on the team. He's here in the studio with us to talk to us about this truly fascinating discovery. Number 89. What is the broadcast mainly about? Number 90. According to the speaker, what can listeners do on a website? Number 91. Who is Dr. Gabriel Dyson? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following telephone message. Hey there, Michelle. This is George calling from Phoenix. Competition just wrapped up at the wrestling tournament here. Unfortunately, our flight home has been delayed. I'm really sorry, but this means I won't be able to make it to the Regional Athletic Association meeting tomorrow. I know you were counting on me to represent our school at the meeting and to vote for a new association chairperson. Do you think you could go in my place instead? On a positive note, I'm very pleased with how well our team did at the tournament we had six wrestlers finish in the top three of their weight class, but I'll tell you all about it when I get back. Number 92. Where does the speaker most likely work?
Number 93. Why does the speaker apologize? Number 94. What is the speaker pleased about? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following announcement and voucher. Hi everyone, I hope you're enjoying the conference. Um, before we get started with the next presentation, I have a quick announcement. You should have received the prepaid vouchers for the welcome dinner tonight in your registration packet, but it looks like some of the packets were missing them. So if you didn't get one, I'll be in the lobby distributing vouchers during the break at 3 o'clock. You just need to present your conference badge in order to receive your voucher, so don't forget it, okay? Number 95. Who most likely are the listeners? Number 96. What problem does the speaker mention? Number 97. Look at the graphic. Where will the dinner be held? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following broadcast and map. It wouldn't be Declaration Day in Point Arnold without the annual fireworks show, which made its debut in 1901 to commemorate the city's founding. The all-day event takes place this Sunday at Point Arnold and includes carnival rides, games, food and a free concert. The fireworks display will be set off from barges in the harbour. Usually, the best views are from the north side of the point. However, 7th Street Trail is closed for ongoing maintenance, so the best viewing spot will be from the beach. If you plan on heading to where the action is, arrive early to grab a good spot. A large crowd is expected, so pack blankets or chairs and enjoy the party. You can check our website for a map of more favourite spots to watch the fireworks. Number 98. What is scheduled for Sunday? Number 99. What is said about the beach? Number 100. Look at the graphic. Where will the listeners be unable to go on Sunday? This is the end of the listening test.